I'm enjoying here to see to see the customer like there say it's just I'm happy to see people I have my own business here I always tell you that it's a good to live here in Canada and I am honored to be a Canadian it's my dream to have a, a business like this, so I grab it because that's my opportunity. And then I really, I can really tell that my dream came true. It's not all about money, but uh, yeah, helping other moms look after their kids. You know, it's it's bring joy to me. Edna Davidson immigrated to Canada in 1987, meeting her husband and starting a family as one of an incredibly small Filipino community. In 2012, she opened the Mimart Sari Sari store, a place to let other newcomers find a little piece of home. It's sort of a grocery store for the Filipino people and for the white people too if they want to come. It's not only a business, it's sort of uh, like uh, I want to help the Filipino people that they can grab their, you know, what they're craving for because that's what I'm looking for before when I came here. It's just a uh, different cooking, the taste, so you need the Filipino store to get that um, ingredients. Despite working seven days a week to bring Filipino cuisine to her customers, it took a conversation with one of her regulars to show Edna that she had already found her success. One day, one of my customers told me, Ate, you're lucky you do have a store, and I do appreciate it after she said that to me. I, before, I never appreciated that I do have a store. I thought it's just, I'm just a sales lady here. I never have an idea that, you know, I can make it, but I did. I had no idea before how to start a store. I'm enjoying here to see, to see the customer like this. And it's just I'm happy to see people. Yeah, I got tired sometimes, but uh, like I said, um, I have to do it. Ariel Camarado is a man that knows the value of hard work. Since moving with his wife and children from the Philippines to Canada in 2008, he has worked at least eight different jobs, often two or three at the same time. Maybe I have eight or nine jobs, yeah. Yeah, I still work in Walmart too, I apply there. I think that's self-determination, self-determination. I want to work, I want to earn money. Yeah, I'm just looking forward, you know, uh, for my family. Here, I have to try to exceed yeah, whatever I have in the Philippines. In 2012, Ariel took his experience and turned it into Our Choice Cleaning Services, which quickly became known for its professionalism and quality of work. It started a one-man job, doing everything this month. When my son came 2013, he helped me here in the mall and some business. And we have to hire some workers now. We train them. I want to satisfy my client. I'm very happy for that. When they appreciate us, I'm, I'm very, very happy. I think money can, cannot buy that one. Today, Ariel is proud of his hard work, which led to his success in Canada as a business owner. So uh, when they know that I'm doing janitorial services here, oh, what happened to you, Ariel? You're doing a paperwork here, you're a consultant now, you're a janitor there. It's a job, I told them. I have my own business here. I always tell them, it's a good to live here in Canada. And I am honored to be a Canadian. I got my, my citizenship in 2012, and I'm proud to be a Canadian. Kayani Connect is powered by Kayani Canadian, a network of independent distributors. Kayani, experience more, more health, more wealth, more life. Business opportunities available. Financial support for this program was made possible by Community Future Southwest, supporting entrepreneurs in Southwest Saskatchewan. Thank you, Community Future Southwest.
Mary Bell Riego moved to Canada in 2008 with her children, a year after her husband moved to Swift Current. She soon took a job working at McDonald's, which despite running her own business, she still holds to this day. When I started there, I don't really speak English, so I'm scared to the customers, <laughs> to the customers, but then they always help me, you know, to, to have a confidence. When the former owner of a and Asian Food Store was leaving, Mary Bell was asked to take over the business. She used her confidence and previous business experience to further expand the store to what it is now, serving Asian food, seasonings, snacks, and drinks to customers of all backgrounds and ages. It's my dream to have a, a business like this, so I grab it because that's my opportunity, and then I really, I can really tell that my dream came true. I enjoy it, especially if I can give what they want, if I can give. So understanding them, understanding, and then uh, giving their needs, it's the happiest that I can, I can tell that I help them. And as one of the inaugural directors of the Philippine Entrepreneur Society of Saskatchewan, Mary Bell is in a position to give aid and advice to a whole new generation of Filipino entrepreneurs focus on what they want, like uh, to set a, uh, plans, plans and then set a goal and then do what they can do the best uh, so that they can achieve what their goal is. Nancy Onraid has worked as a caregiver, nurse, in daycares and run day homes from China to Australia to Calgary, Saskatoon and now Swift Current. So she is no stranger to taking care of others. When her and her husband moved to Swift Current, it was only natural that she would open the Filipino-Canadian Day Home, a continuation of the business she started in Saskatoon. I can just stay at home. I want to do something and save money. So that's why I, after I gave birth to my son, I put up uh, a daycare too, like a day home too. In Sa we were still in Saskatoon that time. Yeah, so that's how I started this business. In addition to the usual playtime, naps, crafts, and snacks, Nancy makes time to educate as well. We'll do a circle time. Like, I, I will ask them what book they want to read, so I will read a book to them. And then, after the book reading, we'll do uh, flashcards, like ABC and stuff, and numbers, and even spelling. It's a love and passion for the work that has allowed Nancy Onright to thrive no matter where she goes. Number one is you need to love the job. If you don't love it, then you won't grow. Or one day or two day, you're probably already close. It's not all about money, but uh, yeah, helping other moms look after their kid, and the kids knowing that some some kids also call me mommy. I said no, it's Nancy. You know, it's it's bring joy to me.